Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week we get for our actions and interactions with the world at large. This week we get... Dun, 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 dun. the six of swords right so we really are moving forward in a big way for a lot of us may very well be planning some sort of travel um the feeling that i'm getting from this though because your six of swords is it's overseas travel right but the feeling that i'm picking up from this card at the moment is this is about travel that you're not expecting this isn't, you know, for a lot of you, yes, it probably is you planning a trip for later on this year. But for a lot of us, I'm getting this sense that this is going to come out of the blue. Because it is in your actions and on your path ahead, this is about something that you do, right? This is about what actions you take, what steps you take in your life. The Six of Swords can be about moving away from difficult times, but very often it is about travel. And I'm the, it's just overwhelming. It's just like this sense that, like I keep hearing as well, like, you're not expecting this. I don't know whether you've applied for maybe, um, you know, they do competitions where you can win a holiday or something like that. Maybe if that's something that you've done, uh, maybe this week, if you're an Aquarius and you've done that, this could be the week where you find out that it's you that's going on that trip. The feeling that is really overwhelming is that whatever this travel is for a lot of you, it's something that you're personally planning but for the majority of us, this is a, a trip or some sort of travel that is coming up that you didn't expect to have to take. Um, I don't feel like you're making it for any, well, I mean, we can see what comes up, but yeah, it's just, it's overwhelming as well. It's kind of like, you know, like this desire, this push, it's kind of like you are going to travel and you're not going to be expecting it. Maybe somebody phones you up and says, look, I've cut you a ticket. Uh, I'll see you in such and such a time, you know, but it's really, really overpowering that feeling. Communications and conversations, we have this, the five of swords, right? So interesting because we've got the five and the six here. So your communications this week, it does look, my dear Aquarians, like it's going to be a bit of a, a tumultuous week, I have to say. Your five of swords can be arguments, bickering, uh, somebody trying to, you know, to push your button, so to speak. Now, because you've got the six of swords in close proximity, this could be somebody that lives at a distance, excuse me, possibly even overseas or internationally. This could be somebody that you're uh, communicating with or contacted or in contact with that you didn't expect to hear from and things could get heated in the conversation. It, and the thing is, if, I mean, I know Aquarian energy because I'm an Aquarius son. When it comes to it, especially if we think we're right, you're not gonna move us. It just, it's not gonna happen. Don't don't try, <laughs> it's, a, it's a waste of your time. But yeah, the communications look like they may be a bit fraught this week. Um, and it might very well be that you've reached your last nerve with something. And this week it's just kind of like, you know what, I'm not here for it. And if you bring me any BS, I'm gonna A, I'm gonna call you out on that BS and you know, and B, I'm just gonna start dealing with the straight up facts. I've always said this as well. Like nobody ever wants any, you know, unless you're at a show, nobody ever wants to get read. But if you if it comes to it, your water signs and your air signs, you never want them to read you because the water signs will find the chink in your emotional armor and they will ram it home. And the air signs will straight up deal with facts and just let you have it. And when they deal with those facts, what can you say against that? Because you're dealing with facts, right? So, you know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an interesting week when it comes to conversations, I have to say. But I don't know why I'm shuffling again. Uh, money and materials. This week we have the five of cups, right? So what do we see here? Straight away we've got two cups, uh, two fives. 
Fives, uh, as one reader, Aquarian Insight. Love you, Jay, if you're watching this. Um, uh, often says is fives are the agents of chaos. Now, of all of the fives, these are probably two of the most difficult ones. The Five of Cups deals with loss, it deals with grief, it deals with mourning. Um, very often the Five of Cups can be that kind of spilt milk kind of energy, like don't cry for spilt milk. This could be where you're deciding to cut your losses and run in some way, shape or form. This week you could really be sort of saying to yourself, okay, you know what? I'm willing to release this, I'm willing to let this go, I'm willing to let it, not let it slide, but I'm willing to, to take my part in this energy or whatever it is uh, playing out, I'm willing to take that off the table. Um, because it is with the Five of Swords, this looks like something that somebody's probably going to contact you with. Maybe somebody reaches out to ask you for money. Maybe somebody reaches out for a loan or wants help from you. Uh, again, because it is two fives and you've got this five of swords, I kind of get that this person is consistently always asking. Do you know what I mean? And it's kind of like this week, you're just like, you know what, I'm not here for it. I'm going to let you have it. Um, but your five of cups is asking you to be cautious when it comes to money this week. Really be cautious just when it comes to money this way. I'm gonna pull an extra card for that. The Nine of Swords, right? So it could be that you're all up in your head about whether you should or shouldn't help someone. And this is the problem, you know, with Aquarius energy as well. Very often when we're asked for something, if we can see somebody in true desperate need, uh, we can't see it, right? We won't, we'll do whatever we can to address that need. Sometimes people play on that because they know that they can manipulate you with that energy. This is a week for you to be really discerning about whether that's what you're seeing. You know, is it as bad as, as it's being made out to be? Or is it just that somebody's, you know, pulling on those usual heart, not necessarily heartstrings, it is Aquarius energy, but you, you get my point. Don't let somebody manipulate you into, into giving them what they want, I guess is what I'm trying to say to you. Your love and relations this week, you have the world tree. And your world card is about mastery, it's about moving on from things. I mean, when it comes to familial relationships, there could be something going on in your in your family this week, and it's very likely to have something to do with the elderly. Uh, the world card represents Saturn, and so therefore it can be grandparents, but it can also be parents. Um, it can be, you know, whoever the elders are in your family, so to speak. Now, uh, on a personal level, for those of you that are single, this looks like you could be meeting somebody in the midst of all of this, but this person's going to be an international. They won't be somebody, or it be somebody that lives, you know, at a very big distance from where you live or from where you're from. Um, very, very different backgrounds, but the connection is very, very strong. This person is likely to be very well established, possibly even well but they're also um, likely to be a lot more mature than you are not necessarily just in age but also in outlook it may very well be that they are the steadying force so if you are if you're single you could be meeting somebody that's really you know that exhibits all of the traits of the Saturnian Aquarius you know that sort of very linear and you know scientific feet on the ground sort of you know, analytic, straight talking, uh, you know, sort of energy, you know, and, and maybe you're the Uranian energy, who knows? For those of you that are partnered, the world card looks like you will be getting support from a partner to deal with whatever's going on in your com conversations and your communications. Uh, it does look like there is some support coming from the partner. I feel like your relationship is probably the thing that is strongest this week. It's the thing that's really going to... Um, support you in anything that you do go through this week and it does look like there's going to be some hard convos this week it looks like there's going to be some some moments of you putting foot to, to you know foot to proverbial button and then finally your key to the week is the full card right so all bets are off this week uh, when everything zigs you need to zag when everything zags you need to zig when anything is presented to you this week you need to take it with a pinch of salt this is mercury goes retrograde uh, it's currently in shadow as of this week as of the second i believe we'll go retrograde on the 16th if you want to get your retrograde survival kit 
£10 off at the moment. Get it in the link in the description box below. But your full card, new things, new places, new people. So whoever, for those of you that are single, this is gorgeous because it really does suggest that this person is either an international or somebody that is so far removed from what your usual type is. And Aquarians don't really have a type. So, you know, that's saying something. Um, you know, that this person's just really gonna shock and surprise you in many ways, which is a gorgeous energy. For those of you that are partnered, it looks like your relationship is gonna, it will grow in strength, because it's almost like your partner says, you know what, whatever you're facing, we're facing, and we will get through it together, which is a really, really nice thing to see. Um, but yeah, that, let me just, <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, let me pull another card for, for this whole thing, because I don't know what this is, but it, it feels like that's where a lot of the issues are coming from, and I feel like it's coming from an outside party. Uh, the Green Man, which is basically the full card, all bets are off this week, right? Don't, don't take anything at face value. Uh, don't allow yourself to be hoodwinked, especially, uh, you know, call it like you see it. This is a week for, for all of that, because whenever you get the full card, this is fated events or moments that show up in your life, things that you're not necessarily in control of in any way, shape or form. Full card, double hit of the full card, spontaneous travel. This is coming up for you uh, this week, and I kind of feel like you're just, it'll be one of those things where you're just kind of like, wow, I just didn't expect that at all. Um, which is coming through. I mean, you know, my, have, you guys know me, I'm an Aquarius as well, so I send you so much love, so many blessings, um, and an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care, and I'll see you soon.